Hi, my name is Mark Tacna, and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. Hooray! Today's video, I'm going to show you how I transfer mini DV tapes to digital. Now, here's the thing about mini DV tapes. They could be shot in a variety of ways. Aspect ratio wise, could be four by three, standard definition, or it could be 16 by nine, a letterbox, standard definition. Oh boy! They could also be recorded on HDV or even DV cam. So the equipment I'm going to use is a Sony mini DV deck, that's also a DV cam, and a Sony eight millimeter Walkman, and I'm using an iMac that's running OS X 10, and I'm going to use Final Cut 7 for the transfer process. So let's get going. Yeah. The first thing I wanna show you is how I have my equipment set up. I'm gonna play the tape using the HDV deck and I'm going to have the video come out of the deck using RCA and then it's going to go in to the Walkman and the audio video input, which is a little eighth inch jack. Ooh. It is then going to go out of the eight millimeter Walkman via Firewire into the computer. The reason why I have it set up like this is because Final Cut 7 likes to record with digital timecode. So I like to break that digital timecode by using the analog cords. So I'll get a nice seamless playthrough. See what happens is a person could be recording on their mini DV tape and they stop, they go back, they watch it, and then they fast forward a little bit and find a blank part of the tape and they start recording again. Well, what happens is it breaks the time code. It'll go from zero to like 10 minutes. Then it'll go to zero again for five minutes. It'll go like zero for three minutes. Whatever they've been recording, it's not going to be a consistent time code. So Final Cut will stop the capturing process oh, if I don't have that time code broken. And that is why I use the analog RCA. So I have my mini DV tape. I know exactly what this is. This is my old wedding video from uh, 2003. So I know it's been shot in standard definition. Ooh. But here's the important settings that I wanna show you on the Walkman. You have to go to menu and you have to go down first to make sure that my AV DV out is to on, not off. The next important thing to set up on the Walkman is going to the audio mode right here and see it's on 12 bit. It needs to be on 16 bit. So the 16-bit will jive with Final Cut. If I had it on 12, then Final Cut would give me an error that the audio video is out of sync, and it would be on 12. So I need to have it on 16-bit so it has the same settings as Final Cut 7. So everything looks good. I'm gonna hit play. And I'm getting a picture right now, which is perfect. Let's jump into Final Cut 7. I am in Final Cut 7 and I'm just about ready to capture my mini DV tape. First thing I'm going to do is hit Command 8, which initializes the log and capture. I'm going to name my tape Mini DV Transfer. Ooh. I want to go to my clip settings and make sure that my video is checkmarked. My audio is checkmarked, and I also want to preview to make sure that I have good sound. Next thing I want to do is go to my capture settings, and I want to make sure that it's non-controllable device. The reason I'm doing that is that if there is any kind of break in the tape, I'm not capturing it using time codes, so it'll go straight through the breaks and continue recording. I also want to go to Capture Input and select DV NTSC 48 kilohertz. I know my mini DV tape 
was recorded in standard definition and not high definition. Oh, yeah. Go back to logging. I'm going to hit play on my mini DV deck and capture now. And here is the video of mine and my wife's wedding in 2003. That looks really great. Depending on how long your tape is, is going to depend on how long you're going to capture. Let's just say this is all I want to have captured. I am now going to hit escape and that looks great. Close this window. Now I'm going to click to make sure I did get my video. And there it is. It looks absolutely perfect. So that is it. That is how I transfer mini DV tapes to a digital format using my Mac and Final Cut 7. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. And remember, sharing is caring. So please share this video with a friend or two if you liked it. Have a wonderful day.